live from the hive once again with first and ten welcome ladies and gentlemen to the first ever episode of first and ten here on yellow jacket radio i am your host rhett joined alongside my good friend and co-host LaShawn, thank you for that intro. Sounded slick, by no the way. No problem, no problem. I'll try to keep it smooth. Try to keep it smooth. But ladies and gentlemen, we are here talking today about the NFL and some of the scores and the games that were played over the past week. So starting off with the Thursday night game, the Texans took on the Patriots in New England. It was ugly. A blowout, a blowout. 27-0. Didn't look good for Houston, and the color rush uniforms didn't help them either. But moving on to Sunday, <laughs> the Ravens beat the Jaguars 19-17. The Redskins conquer the Giants 29-27. Odell was getting his tips frosted somewhere and then came back and fought the field goal net. I don't know. I yeah. didn't really I didn't really watch the whole game. but I wonder how a soccer player would feel about that. <laughs> I don't know. We'll figure it out here pretty <laughs> soon. But a game that went into overtime. The Dolphins beat the Browns 30-24 to in a nail-biter, I guess. We all knew the Browns were going to lose that one, but let's be honest here. Wow. The Packers tamed the Lions 34-27. The Vikings came out and beat the Panthers 22-10. Your Broncos. Yes, yes. Got the job done. Emmanuel Sanders, Von Miller, and Demarius Thomas. 29-17. to The Raiders beat the Titans 17-10. to yes. The Cardinals beat the Bills 33-18. to no no no, 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 no. The Bills beat the, the Bills Cardinals. beat the Cardinals. You're right. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm sorry about that. The Bills beat the Cardinals. I haven't said that in such a long time. The Bills beat the Cardinals. 33-18 to was the final score in that one. I don't really want to talk about this one, but the Rams beat the Bucks 37 to 32. Uh, the Seahawks. Wins. Yeah, wins. we're just gonna skip over that one. The Seahawks beat the 49ers 37 to 18. The Eagles. Oh my God, the uh, Eagles. That rookie quarterback. 34 to three over the Steelers. Let's talk about Carson Wentz, That's, man. What a day. I never thought. I, I'm pretty sure he had it in him, but I guess he was just waiting for the to, for the right team, you know. And you know, the last time the Eagles went three and zero, they did not make it to the Super Bowl. So let's see what we have. <laughs> Let's see what we have in store from them this year. I hope so, man. But he is the first rookie quarterback to ever go 3-0 and and not throw a pick. So, I mean, I don't think he's going to not throw a pick for the rest of the season, but it is going to be a sad moment once he does throw one. But a great game for the Eagles there as they come out and dominate in the battle for Philly over the Steelers. Now, I, I don't even have to listen to those Steelers fans talk anymore, man. <laughs> I'm so happy about it. But moving on, the Jets. Lost pretty badly to the Chiefs, 24-3. Six goal. picks in that game. A field goal. For, that's, that's it? Six picks in that game. That's do, unbelievable do for, the have, Chiefs all, to, for the Chiefs defense. Do they still have the real Revis? He's getting up there. He's getting up there. Oh, Re- Revis Island is like a condo. <laughs> It's like a set of condos now. The Colts beat the Chargers 26-22. to The Cowboys beat the Bears 31-17. to And then moving on to Monday night, the Falcons beat the Saints 45-32. But Monday night actually was a pretty cool experience. I only saw highlights of it and I read about it. But after the National Anthem, every player from each sideline, every coach cleared the benches, walked to the center of the field. They all held hands in a big circle around the 50-yard line. And they spoke out and said it was a message of unity. Do you, you happen to catch that? Yes, I heard about that one. And it's a, it's not really a tough subject because in the NFL, they've, they've always had unity. You know, like I said um, before when we were talking before the show, um, they've always prayed with each other, most teams, after and before the game. So it's like they've always been together. But the situation will make them, they will need to come together more to take a, take a stand against what's going on. Yeah, it's a cool thing to see, man. People say football is community, and that's what... That's the reason we all love football. But, ladies and gentlemen, that's just about going to do it for this first episode of First and Ten. Yes, sir. We will catch you again next time. Signing out from my buddy, Vashawn. I am Rhett. Have a good day, Yellow Jackets. Yeah.